Yes, sir. There we go, baby. Yes, sir. I got it running good, huh? Yeah, I need some new uh, rears. See how I put that drag on there? I don't even have to hit the brakes. It'll roll. Roll to a stop. what's up? Yeah, I got the Pro Mod out today, man. Shit, this one here is pretty it's finished. All I'm gonna do is uh, I wait. I ordered quite a few batteries, so I'm waiting on some batteries to come in for this one too. Cause I ain't gonna be doing nothing else to this one. I uh, put a 5700 kV motor on it, and that was it. That's all she gonna really need. That's all. It, it ain't nothing but a uh, Sidewinder 4 system on there. And yeah, hell, she runs real good, cuz she runs real good. For it to be a RJ speed, you know, I just had to do some modifications to it. I'm gonna take these weights off and I'm gonna get the weights that go in the rims because I need to put a little more weight on the rear end to uh, make it bite better. It does It does a lot of spinning, that's why my tires are so small. They're lower, they were bigger than this. And I, I made quite a few passes with it, nothing to really write home about or nothing. That's why I ain't took no serious videos or nothing like that. I've been doing it on like low, uh, low power settings and everything. Just trying to get the car to run straight and dial it in real good. So I turned the power up pretty good on it. I have the, uh, had it out last weekend. I had some videos and it kept breaking traction. And I know that's because it's too light in the ass. So I need to get them uh, rim weights probably tomorrow. I know I got to go to work in a little bit. So probably get some tomorrow. And then uh, add me a nice little amount of weight to the back of it so this way it'll bite and once it starts biting like that then it'll it'll scoop it won't uh it won't want to get sideways or nothing like that it'll just go straight but yeah man that's pretty much the uh pro mod put a little glitch buster on there keeps everything send it up pretty nice yeah i gotta stay playing with it oh yeah i got a slipper clutch on here see that right down in there and on that wheel I put a slipper clutch on there so like that helps with kill without so I won't kill my brake uh, my gears so like one if one you know when I go to apply the brake it'll slip a little bit instead of just this guy tearing these teeth off because that's usually what it does it'll tear the teeth off and then I won't have no gear so now it does like the slip action like on a Traxxas car It'll do the slip action so it saves my teeth. So I haven't had any issues with it after I put that on there. And that's a really good system. You can adjust it um, from this side right here. See that bolt on there? You can torque it down some more. And it'll apply more pressure to it. And that'll make it tighter. So it'll have less slip. But I got it where I need it at now. So I'm not even going to play with it. And it don't um, back out on me. Like I said, all I'm waiting on is some um, batteries, the um, graphenes. That's all I'm pretty much running on my GT car and all my cars from here on out pretty much. The ones I found, they won the 200C. And um, they got them. They're, they're, they're some small-ass packs, bro. If I'm trying to, if I'm going to put one on here, on, you know it's got to be small. So um, it's going to take up this whole compartment, like lengthwise. You know what I'm saying? Lengthwise, it'll take up the uh, whole compartment. But that's cool because that'll give it a little more weight on the rear end too. So that'll make it bite better. That's why I got those batteries. Because that battery that I'm currently running on there, it barely it barely takes up this this whole compartment. The other one I'm going to put on there might stick out just a little bit. But it's, it's wider. It's fatter than the other one. The other one is about the same size right here. There's a little bit of this patch right there for the uh, Velcro. So uh, the one that I'm going to put in there is probably... From this side to this side of the Velcro, so it's a lot wider. So it'll weigh more, hold the car down better. Hopefully, give me better passes. I'm gonna make some passes with this one. Um, I gotta get some more tires, and I'm waiting on those batteries. So matter of fact, I need to get off of here and order me some more tires, and um, have some more tires on deck because these are wearing down pretty good. It's not too too low, but 
as low as the car is to the ground, you can kind of see, you know what I'm saying? I need some new ones. Those were, uh, those wore down pretty good. Wheelie bar holding up good, you know what I'm saying? I ain't having no problems with that. And I put a little weight on the front so that it'll hold the car down. And it does its job. Everything does its job. So I'm pretty, I'm proud of this one. Happy with how it came out. Installed me a little cat pack on it. Shit, that's pretty much it. I got a Hobby Wing 5700 on there. And I used one of my old Speed Control uh, Castle Creation fans from one of my old XLXs. Yep, that's it right there, Cuzzo. Shit, she run. But I'm going to bring out some run videos when these batteries get in here, man. The, the I had to turn my punch control down because that's why I kept breaking traction, too. It was just hot. The punch was just too too high. So I'm going to pull it down some more and then do it like that. Because I noticed when I had turned the punch up, it got wicked. That's when it got wicked and stayed wicked. So it's always a tune game, man, with these cars, man. Always a tune game. You got to tune them, tune them, tune them, tune them. If you want them to run fast and be reliable. All right, fam. As always, yo, y'all cats get out there and build something. Peace.